Welcome. The fish in this tank belong to the Lake Tanganyikan species of cichlids, Neolamprologus brevis. They are shell-dwelling cichlids, which means they lay their eggs in shells, and uh, that's why there are quite a few shells here, because I'm hoping this fish will breed one day. Uh, I bought them quite recently, about two months ago, I bought a male and two females. And they were swimming here quite happily, but they were not interested in each other. They were not interested in breeding. I went back to the store where I originally bought them and I saw that there are very few of them left. And because it is not that often to see them in stores, on the contrary, it's very rare that they are up for sale, I decided to buy another male just in case something happens to the male I already have. It was not an easy decision because the tank is quite small and it might have been difficult for the males to divide the territory of one, of one small tank among themselves. But uh, what I did before I introduced the male to this tank, I removed the three fish I removed all the stones, I uh, made a massive water change and then I put the stones back and I arranged them differently. And then I introduced the new male to the tank. And only after I saw that he was quite comfortable swimming here, I put back the other three fish. So. In that way, I had four fish that were new to the new setup. Uh, and it turned out that the males divided the territory among each other. They still did not lay eggs. However, one of the males, the two fish that are chasing each other are both males, one of the males uh, became much darker than the other, and he seems to be the dominant one. The females seem to divide the tank among themselves as well. One always swims on the left side of the tank, there is a shell that she prefers there, and the other one swims on the right side of the tank. As you can see, there are also Bushinose plecos in this tank. There is one here. Let me there is one here. And one here. They are still quite small. Oops. He hid behind a rock. There are four of them all together. And they are very effective in keeping the tank clean. As you can see, this is a male. And um, he is the dominant one. The males have a uh, much more, uh, the males' fins are much more pointy than the females. Oh, here we have two males um, right now. Uh, according to the internet and according to all the sources that I checked, uh, the males should be bigger than the females. But here, somehow, it is not the case. This is a female here. And, if, and another one is here. As you can see, they are much rounder in shape, but also their fins are shorter and, and the tips of the fins are rounded, not as pointy as the males. Oh, here is the male. So it's a male. There is a male here. Uh, 
and the female here. I hope you like my tank with Neolamprologus brevis. I like it a lot. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good day.